the idea of actually people getting hurt or injured on our work zones, you know, it just doesn't sit comfortable, doesn't feel right. We're just not taking the norm and just going, it'll be right. Uh, you have to continue to innovate and look at new ways of, of, of maintaining safety and increasing safety. And we test and trial a whole bunch of different things. So some of the things you see here are just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what we have put in place. The idea of a proximity sensor, you know, it alerts the operator of the plant that there's someone encroaching inside their zone. Look out, person near you. If I'm not looking that way and I'm coming back because I'm looking down and I don't see you there, it tells you. Look out, person near you. When you hear it go off, it, the first thing you do is look. And the idea of this is to actually keep our plant and our people separate from each other. You know, the proximity sense is only one step towards achieving zero harm for our people. Look out, person near you. What we're doing here at Fulton Hogan on some of our work sites is we're trying to reduce the speed limit of vehicles travelling through our work site and we've come up with an idea where we put some signs that have video surveillance on this work site and then removing the signs and seeing the speed limit after the signs aren't there. Okay, the traffic seems to be behaving itself with the signs up. Let's see what we can do with the signs down, shall we? the surveillance signs being out, that there has been a reduction in the speed limits through the work zones. We're always looking to improve and, you know, people talk about it, but we actually do do it. Yeah, yeah, this light, it allows me to tell the traffic drivers to follow me and do not overtake, where it can keep the uh, workers safe on the site, rather than the uh, traffic overtaking me and creating an accident. Well, drivers automatically, when they see something different out on the network, they uh, take note and their first reaction is to slow down. So what we were trying to come up with was something different that they hadn't seen before. So for instance, the, the strobing workman ahead light, no one else uses that, so it gets an instant reaction. Yeah, we've identified um, a product called eFlare as, as a, um, an early warning mechanism. Rural, regional road, no lighting. We place the eFlares in a tape or in a clump and often that serves to warn motorists of our presence. And, um, and highlight the danger of a, a tree down across the road, or a hazard. Knowing that we've done a good day's work and kept them safe. Um, and that's you know, something that I'm passionate and proud working for Fulton Hogan.